Let's talk about the Trump verdict reaction. So, um, uh, let me see here. Uh, a lot of craziness has happened here. I'm not going to talk about the Trump verdict reaction. What I want to do is I want to bring on a buddy of mine who is known uh, in the world as David Harris Jr. I'm going to give him a call here. And uh, I want him to provide his reaction to what's going on with Trump. Uh, if you follow David Harris Jr., he's got his new show on Newsmax right now. Uh, very proud of him and what he's doing in terms of elevating his career. Formerly of Northern California. Bro, this brother was addicted to crack. I mean, this guy had a, a, a horrible, horrible experience with, with addiction. Uh, anyway, make a long story short, God has restored him of that. Uh, Jesus restored him of that. And now he's a public figure, uh, father, keynote, author, a uh, host of The Pulse on Newsmax. So let's give, let's give uh, 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 David Harris Jr. here a call to see what his reaction is on this whole Trump uh, very correct. I'm, I'm going to talk about the um, the financial aspect of it, but I want David here to talk about. Hello, David. Yes, sir. What's up, my, brother. What, my man? How you doing? I'm, I'm here with Milton on the Seven Fierce Wild Podcast, man. I appreciate you joining us. Absolutely, honored to be on with you, Matt. Thanks, brother. Hundred percent, man. So uh, you have a new T-shirt out. That says you're voting for a convicted felon. <laughs> yes, I do, baby. I do. It's got the little bubble next to Joe Biden, and it's got the little bubble next to convicted felon and uh, that's circled in that's who i'm voting for and i'm letting everybody know everywhere i go and the response has been great it's a conversation starter it's where i wear my it's where i wear my t-shirts it gets people talking i had one lady yesterday say to me you know i like your shirt i almost didn't know if i wanted to say anything wow that's exactly why i wear it and that's exactly what we need to do is we got to talk more openly about what's going on in our country before it before it's too late so that's why i do it uh that's why i wear them thanks for the plug everybody can check it out at love that merch.com Love that merch.com, but uh, yeah, it's, it's selling like crazy. So, so David Harris Jr., if you don't recognize his name, he's got this key key phrase. Are you kidding me? David, you got you to break it down, bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah that's become, uh, I actually have uh, my new show on Newsmax 2. You can get the Newsmax app just like Netflix, and I'm live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, the primetime slot. We're the number one show on Newsmax 2. And uh, I actually have a new little segment where it's it's an "Are you kidding me?" segment. That's uh, oh, it's awesome do, uh, during the week. But yeah, it's there's a lot of things that make you say that, man. And you know, ultimately, we just got to wake people up. So, what's what's what was your initial reaction? I mean, what was your you, you know what's going down? They upgraded his misdemeanor charges to to felony charges, and Alvin Bragg here is doing his thing. Is his big whole campaign was to take down Trump? So, what you're the political expert here. You're you're, you're the political commentator here. What's your, what's your what's your thoughts here when this happened uh, last last Thursday Friday? Well, you know, Matt. Leading up to it, um, they've been going for this. They've been planning. They've been trying to do, and they, I mean, the left, the progressive left, the progressive Democrats, and, and everybody with Trump derangement syndrome. It's like, you know, he's out of office. He's been out of office for three and a half years. Yet everything is still his fault. Joe, even yesterday, when he's like, "Oh, I'm going to go actually, you know, do what the Republicans." you know, and the Senate didn't do and secure the border. No, Joe, you're lying. You rescinded so many of Trump's, you know, stay in port, stay in Mexico policy, remain in Mexico policy. Uh, you, he rescinded so many of Trump's policies that gave us the most secure border that we've had in decades. And I'm not, it's just not me talking about it. I've got the heads of border patrol uh, association that are on my show uh, regularly talking about it. It's like, it was solid, yeah. but everything's either still Trump's fault or Republicans fault. So he, he is the threat to the Democrat machine, the Democrat machine that wants to, I believe, usher in socialism. They want us to be the USSA, United Socialist States of America. They want our freedoms to be granted to us by the government, not by the Constitution. Just like we saw during the pandemic, uh, they, want it, they want to be able to restrict and rescind our, our, our rights, our God-given freedoms. They want to control you know, what we can do, where we can go, if we can go to work or go to a, go to a, a school without being forced to take an experimental toxin in our bodies. Uh, they, they want to control us, and that's their agenda, and it's very, very clear. So, And then Trump, he said it from the beginning. They're not coming after me. They're coming after you. I'm just in the way. Mm -hmm. He's standing in the way of them completely destroying the fabric of freedom in this country, which is the last beacon of hope for the world. There's no other country in the world like ours. Uh, we are blessed to be able to live and, and, and be a part of this country, uh, but they want to change it. And so he's the one standing in the way. So, you know, I was, I was hopeful that there was going to be one jury 
one, just one. All it took, all it would take was one. One, yep. Reasonable doubt. But the judge, yeah, that's it. But the judge stacked the deck in a, such an unprecedented manner, literally giving the jurors a menu. You don't even have to agree on what you think, what crime you think Trump did. As long as you just think he committed one of these dozen crimes, however many it was, then you can just say guilty. He completely stacked the deck uh, against against President Trump. And Trump knew it. You know, I, I had Ken Paxton on my show. Mm. Uh, I had several, several people on my show that were in the courtroom. Bernie Carrick um, that was in the courtroom with Trump. And the, the whole trial was just a complete circus. The judge would, ob- would, would object to any form of objection from Trump's attorneys. They couldn't object. They couldn't object. It was sustained immediately. So they just sat there. They just they couldn't even say anything. They just sat there and, and let let happen happen, whatever was going to happen. And uh, and they had to be quiet and just take it. And then uh, uh, so and the other thing with the jury is all they were all they were hearing from was the New York Times. I guess that was the only kind of news publication that they could hear from or read. So they they didn't know the facts, even though it seemed to me very, very clear. It's like the whole hush money, you know, uh, issue. It's not even illegal. It's not even an illegal thing. They're, they're trying to say, well, you did classify it as, a, as this. You classify it as a, as a business expense. It's like there was no crime, no crime. And yet they trumped up 34 felony counts against a former president of the United States. Absolutely unprecedented in American history. But here's what I know. I believe it's a spiritual battle. Yes. And I believe that the enemy, he does not have foresight. He thinks he knows how to win, but he's nothing compared to God. Yeah, man. And we're on man. God's side. We're on the side of truth, justice, righteousness. And God loves this country. Our found the foundation of this country has Judeo Christian values that honor the Bible, honor the God of the Bible, honor the Bible uh, throughout our constitution, throughout the declaration. So we're on the side of truth and the enemy thinks he has a plan, but how many how many do you know uh, how many of you know, Matt, that when the enemy thinks he's won is when he's really just digging his own grave. So right. it was disappointing. Right. It was disheartening. But at the end of the day, we saw the we saw the response. We didn't go riot. Trump supporters didn't go riot. And in the forty eight hours after the verdict, Trump crushed a campaign donation record with over two million individual donations of seventy dollars or less. Raised over one hundred and forty million dollars in in forty eight hours. Over three hundred million now. And it's waking so many up people. It's waking so many people up to say, "This is absolutely partisan. Yep. This should not be happening in America." Yep. The the the, the Matthew Calingalo, the third guy at the DOJ who was working for Letitia James' office in New York, going after Trump, then goes to work for Biden's DOJ, and then leaves in 2022 to go work at this very uh, in this very district so that they could start this case against Trump. Jordan. It's Biden behind it all the way. And it's political opposition. It's pol- it's it's the persecution of a political opponent, the leading front runner for the Republican uh, ticket against a current Democratic president. It shouldn't be happening, but you know what? Thank God that it is because it's waking people up like never before, Matt. And, and the craziest part there, I just put this up on the screen while you were talking. Uh, a lot of billionaires that weren't normally supporting Trump are now flipping on the side. You know, you got Chamath. Uh, who's uh, hosting a fundraiser in San Francisco for Trump. You got uh, Bill Ackman. Uh, you got uh, a CEO of Blackstone Schwartzman, who previously distanced himself from, from Trump, now rallying to his side to support. So some even uh, uh, folks uh, on, on Wall Street who nor- don't normally like the guy are seeing, hey, listen, if they can do that, simple thing. You just said, if they can do it to a former president of the United States, man, we're next, man. We're next. We're, we're easily in the target. That's exactly right. Yeah, th- there's nobody that's off limits. If yeah. they can do that and get away with it, yeah. there's nobody that's off limits. They will railroad every single individual, no matter who you are, that gets in their way. Yeah. And their their way and their agenda is power and control. That's yeah. all they want. That's it. That's it. David, man, I appreciate you jumping on the show here, providing some insight, and make sure you follow David's show here on News. I'm super proud of you, big dog. I can't wait to come back to Dallas again. But uh, super proud of you being on the Newsmax too, the Pulse, and make yeah, sure you check out Pulse. David. Get yep, get the app on your phone, iPad, TV, just like Netflix. It's free Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I bring the heat, I bring the truth, and uh, we need more people talking to family members and friends that are still watching MSNBC, CNN, ABC. They're drinking that propaganda Kool Aid. Those networks are not telling the whole truth. Yeah. I challenge people. I say, look, that's fine if you want to keep watching them. 
but at least watch a couple other shows. Yeah. Go watch The Pulse on Newsmax and 2 or watch anything else on Newsmax. Just give yourself an option to see what the other side is saying yeah. and then do your own research. Come to your own conclusion, but at least don't just be so so fed in one direction from one side. Right. If that's all you know because then you don't even know you're being deceived. So that's, that's what it. I'm all about. God bless you, brother, man. I appreciate your availability, man. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Matt. God okay. bless, brother. All right, bro. Bye-bye. Steve Jeff, what's your thoughts on that? Bro, that was just a lot to unpack for me. I, I, I'm speaking from more of a viewer's or a perspective on not re ever really being involved in politics. And now seeing this, and no, obviously, man, you know, anyone from being your teenage years to, to the people who are in their late years who are on social media, they see this back and forth between uh, the blue and the red Democrats and Republicans, Trump and Biden, Trump and Biden, Trump and Biden. In your position, from where you were at, uh, as a young guy to now in your 50s, successful man, what should people be paying attention to in these moments, uh, in these moments of news, uh, when it comes down to this, these specific political moves that are starting to happen? You know, uh, remember at the beginning of the podcast we talked about the juggling act. Sure. I think when you by yourself, you don't really care about politics. Yeah. But when you get married, yeah. Now you're responsible for a house. You're responsible yeah. for your kids, and they're trying to pass on some good values and virtues. To your children, and then you start building a career, start paying taxes, you start getting involved a little bit more in community, you start maturing, and then you start seeing how these policies actually affect your life. So, you know, the, the uh, uh, Plato once said, one of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed, like somebody rules over you, yeah. and you're governed by your inferiors. Yeah. I mean, look at right now, do you, do you honestly think that the President of the United States is a coherent leader? Not, not at all. Who can't even put together a sentence? Not at all. Who's reading a teleprompter and so he reads his things and he says, pause, pause, pause. Yeah. Bro, that's what's in, he's reading the teleprompter so verbatim, yeah. he reads the pause marks inside the teleprompter. Yeah. He can't care. The diabolical smile that, that he had after he did his press conference, and what do you think about Trump? Blah, 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 this. And he turns around and gives a diabolical smile, just smiles at the camera, just walk. That's, that was an evil look. Yeah. And so when you're looking at uh, a leader, you're looking at somebody who's going to be working on your behalf. And here's the narrative now. Convicted felon, convicted felon, convicted felon. You know, you, you can you can tick easy on both sides. Patrick always said this to us. Hang around both sides of the conversation. Gather, like what Dave said, gather information, research, put it through your own filter of values and principles so you can start thinking for yourself. Don't just don't don't just say yes because of this this network or this network or this podcast. Formulate your own opinion and process it through what you feel is right. And so I, the only thing I would I would say this uh, comment on this one: He raised 141 million dollars in May, yeah, which is more money he raised in the last six months. 53 million dollars in 24 hours post verdict. 71 million dollars in 48 hours post verdict of two million contributors. 70 bucks, five, five bucks or less, which means that people out there are getting out the woodwork. They're starting to see the crap that's going on behind closed doors, in open court, what's going on in, in, in powers that be. And people are saying, listen, this is not the country I was raised in. This is not the country I want to build and live in. This is not the country I want to be ruled by. I want to live and have freedom in this country. And if we keep going this, this route, and you can't have open discourse and dialogue, and listen, capitalism always allows the market to dictate what demands are with, within, within their money and action. So, Two million people said with their money and actions, I gotta support this guy somehow, some way. These billionaires are coming out to work and say, I need to support this guy somehow, some way, because I don't like what necessarily what's going on with Trump. It's not about that, but I don't like what's going on with America. And if people are worrying about what's going on with our country, you wanna build a business, you wanna build a family, this is our home. You're, 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 you got family here, you got siblings, you got your mom here, you got my family here. And I wanna build here for, I don't wanna look at another country. This, this is home. This is a country I served in the military and this is a country I've built a family in. I want to take care of home. So um, what's your thoughts? I'd love to know your thoughts, your comments on what's going on with Trump here. Uh, please put it in the comment section below. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.